Having a waveform monitor at your disposal while you're editing will be an essential tool to make sure that the video levels, the brightness and the darkness, fall within legal levels so that your show is not rejected when you send it to a station. That will obviously lead to an unhappy client. So how do we get in and view the waveform monitor inside of Media Composer? To find it, we're going to need to head into color correction mode. We're going to navigate up to our Windows dropdown. I'm going to come to Workspaces and I'm going to choose Color Correction. Once I do, you'll see that by default here, I have the Y waveform selected, which is the exact scope that we want. Now, if for some reason it's not the active scope on your system, don't worry. All you need to do is to simply head on over to the Y waveform dropdown, and you'll see that you can find it right here, along with many other scopes that you can utilize in your daily editing tasks. Now the reason that I want to use the Y waveform is it's going to give me a visual representation of what is going on with my footage and where my video levels might be falling into illegal ranges as you can see up here in the white section where the green scope has turned white anything that's white is falling outside of legal and this spot would be rejected by a TV station and I'd have to go in and make some changes. So how do I get in and alter this? Well, there's two ways I can do it from within color correction mode. One is by clipping the video. What that means is that Media Composer will take anything that's above illegal ranges and crop it right off so that everything will fall into the legal range below that. The only problem with doing that is you lose information when you clip footage and depending on how bright the shot is when you clip it, you could lose more detail than you're willing to accept. Now to clip the footage, what we're going to do is navigate to the Hue Saturation Lightness tab in the Control tab, and I'm going to navigate over to where it says Clip Low and Clip High, and I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to put the clip value at 234. As soon as I do that, you'll notice that the scope immediately updates, and all my footage is now falling into legal range. You'll see that I can toggle that on and off, and if you take a close look at the bird right here, as I toggle off, we have some more detail come back in, and when I toggle on the clip, you'll see that we lose a little bit of it. So how do we make the same change without losing any of that detail? I'm just going to turn clipping off for a second. I'm going to head back to my hue offsets, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the gamma option over here on the right hand side. I'm going to turn gamma on, and I'm going to set the gamma values to be somewhere around 92%. Now that was a little bit too much, but you see what's happened. Instead of the video levels being clipped right across the top, I've actually brought the brightness of the shot down a little bit. Basically, I brought the highlights of the shot down ever so slightly so that our footage is now not being clipped, we're not losing any detail, and all of our video levels are falling within legal range.